just ordered and been operating her John Ellis machine, and she's had some unique experiences with it and observations, and that's what we do. Um, but she filled a container, glass container, with the John Ellis water, put it on a real marble countertop, and of course now it's kind of the energy from the marble, which is like real stones, so it's you know working mm -hmm. with all kinds of energies and frequencies, and then the John Ellis somehow it just build up this energetic field. But by the time they came back after a few hours, that jug is, uh, container just shattered and the glass was blown all over. So that's another aspect of how, <laughs> you know, powerful this water yeah. can become, you know, explosive. So if you want to burst with energy, again, there's some evidence there. Yes, right? and, and when we make water, usually with the jugs, we'll leave yes. the, t the, the top, uh, um, loose. Mm -hmm. the, yeah, we leave the cap loose for a while to, to basically, uh, because definitely if, if, if you put the cap on right away, it's even hard to get it off there because it's got so much energy in there. Yes. Um, yeah, so we leave it off for a little while before we, uh, you know, before we kind of release the, <laughs> release some and of the And then the energy. other observation that next day, it's still warm. Yes, yes, absolutely. So it holds that energy to heat for a lot longer too. That's absolutely amazing actually mm. to uh, fill up a bottle one night, fill up a one gallon jug one night with hot water that comes right out of the John Ellis machine and the next time, next day in the afternoon, you can touch that water. It still, still has the same yeah. heat. It's it's actually pretty unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And I think that goes back to the energy that he's, as he says, there's 30 times more energy in his water than regular water. So I think that's... It holds, it's it true. It holds, yeah. it's amazing. And again, hydrogen, oxygen, the bonding. Yeah. Um, we know hydrogen is, uh, is energy. We use hydrogen yeah. fuel cells for cars, different things. So again, that's really what makes the difference. And the opposite end of it, if you were to make ice cubes from it, the ice cube lasts a lot longer that's too. That's for sure, that's so for sure. So either part of the spectrum. Yeah. So anyways, it's a great story about water and yeah. John Alice water, he's got, he's got it right now. The technology that we both feel and yeah. share. Structured water. Structured water, exactly.